Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Nilofer Ramji. With a new crew comes a change in command of the International Space Station. And while one crew began their six month stay, another was welcomed back to our home planet. You thought that was it, but on the horizon are two sets of crews that will call the space station home. I wish you the best of luck and uh, I'll pass you the key to the space station. On March 10th, two crews completed mission handover activities and shared messages of congratulations with the teams. A day later, Crew 7 boarded the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft Endurance and returned home after a six and a half month stay. NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen, JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov undocked from the International Space Station's Harmony module, completing nearly a six month science mission. From Dragon, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, for those staying on board on Expedition 71, we hope it does filled with laughter and fulfilling science as ours was. So, Laurel, we'll see you in a couple weeks, and uh, we left you some peanut butter and tortillas in Node 1. On the following day, March 12th, the crew splashed down off the coast of Florida. The return of NASA's SpaceX Crew 7 marks the completion of the seventh crew to return from the space station under the agency's commercial crew program. Expedition 71 doesn't officially begin until next week with another crew heading to the space station. Particularly, NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson will join the group currently living and working in low Earth orbit. Dyson is scheduled to launch to the space station aboard the Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft no earlier than March 21st, along with Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky of Roscosmos and spaceflight participant Marina Vasilskaya of Belarus. With multiple options to get to the space station, Boeing Starliner will be another spacecraft that gets added to the fleet. As part of NASA's commercial crew program, the agency continues to prepare for the launch of NASA's Boeing crew flight test to the International Space Station. The mission will be the company's first Starliner spacecraft mission with crew. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams will launch aboard Starliner on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket and dock to the orbiting laboratory where they will stay for up to two weeks. Liftoff is currently targeted no earlier than Monday, April 22nd from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The mission will test end-to-end -end capabilities of the Starliner system, including launch, docking, and return to Earth in the desert of the Western United States. Following a successful mission, NASA will begin the final process of certifying Starliner and systems for crewed missions to the space station. And don't forget to follow along the daily happenings on the Space Station blog by visiting blogs.nasa.gov/spacestation. And that's Space to Ground. Thanks for watching.